Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Good Game Empire and this is a free-to-play strategy-based MMORPG. Let's get started. As you can see, I am already logged into the game. Welcome here at last. Welcome my castle old friend. All right. So we're going to follow this little guy around and he's going to lead us basically through the tutorial, basically moving us around, building some buildings and quickly heading off into the attack. So we're already out and we're going to attack this dark wall. Essentially what he's going to help us do is take down this castle so we can actually claim it our own and start building on it. So there we go. I'll take the flanks, you take the front. So we're going to load up our guys right there. We'll load them all up. Attack. Click around real quick and boom, these guys are marching off. They move much faster now and in the tutorial than they ever will again for you because they're trying to get you through a lot of this stuff nice and quick. A glorious victory, so we've won. And now we actually get to take over that castle and create our own our, our, our own coat of arms. So let's randomize this a few times, see what we come up with, see if we get a good one. That one's kind of cool, but we're going to keep going. A couple more times, you can see there's a lot of different options here. You know what? I'm actually going to go with that one. Why not just get through it? <clears throat> so you can see right here, very basic stuff. We have a very small settlement now to kind of work with, and the idea is to build that up into a much larger, thriving metropolis. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into some more construction, civil stuff, a woodcutter, place it right there. And it's nice because early on all these things complete themselves rather quickly, but if you've played any game similar to this, this one included, that will slow down over time and uh, you'll kind of be stuck. But we are already level two, so we can move on. We need protection. Let's go ahead and upgrade our little tower to level one. And we've got new assignments, the castle extension, which we're working on right now, which will be done in five seconds. There we go. And there's our, since we did go back to the construction, we can actually extend out our, uh, our space or our building space. We're gonna actually go this way this time, close that out. There we go. Nice and quickly we've completed that and we're already on to let's get some soldiers going. So we need to build a barracks. Let's open that up, get ourselves a barracks. We're going to throw that right there. <clears throat> and that's going to take about 20 seconds. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff that right now is will slowly start to pop up. And you'll see different things are kind of on lockdown right now. You can see this opens up later on when you would research tower you can see we've got our guys heading out this guy's gonna go chop down some wood he's actually gonna get us some stone we need protection all right so we're gonna go in here <clears throat> actually we can't go in there right now we're gonna we're gonna do it the way they want us to do it so build ourselves a spearman and it won't let us actually build ourselves any of the uh, macemen yet but you can see once you upgrade the barracks to level two four stuff like that you're gonna be able to recruit a lot of different units and use those to your advantage and there we go boom we're already level three what does he got for us build us a farmhouse so let's go like that we also get to expand again so we're going to buy that first and then let's build ourselves a farmhouse right over there boom there we go nice and quick 10 seconds and unfortunately right now we can't really do much because this is closed down we've got to kind of complete these quests in the order they want us to basically they want to make sure that you get a nice good start to your uh, to your game so we need to now build a dwelling so we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> we're going to throw that right there that'll take another 20 seconds and unfortunately we're kind of locked in place with what it's building for us it won't even let us out to the world map you see you're not ready to face anything so can we actually build up some of these guys let's see if we can get in here we can let's close that out about the tax revenue so the cool thing with the tax revenue is depending upon how much time you feel you're going to play in a play session, you can structure this and pick anywhere from 10 minutes up to 6 hours. Right now we're going to pick 30 minutes and close that out. The nice thing with picking uh, the shorter periods of time is if you are playing, then you definitely want to uh, you want to pick that, <clears throat> use that to your advantage, keep going back, getting more and more tax revenue. Obviously when you're going to get a little bit later, you want to take and, and pick the longer amounts of times. So let's, uh, but the other thing too is if you don't go in and actually collect your taxes, you will lose them. The tax collector will actually start to pocket some of that stuff. So you want to be really careful in making sure that you're going and picking that stuff up. So we're going to drop this right there, our nice defensive, uh, our defensive workshop, be able to build some different things that could be defensive, put on our walls. We can also look at our keep. 
not yet actually. We can't look at our keep now. I think after we get this defensive workshop up, we're gonna be able to look at our keep in about four seconds. Three, two, one, there we go, we completed that. And we can go in there. Actually, we need to get the quest first, produce stone throwing, we'll go here, go here, go there, boom, boom, boom. Produce stone throwing, and there we go, we got some stone throwing. And we now need to go here and assign our defenses. <clears throat> so you can see here, you can structure with these slide bars how much defenses are put either to the front or the different flanks. We're gonna go ahead, close this, grab our stone thrower, put it to the front right there, and that will protect us from any damage being done, at least right now. Especially since we can't be attacked. You're actually just like a lot of other games we're level four now, which is great. And we're gonna name it Castle Tatas. So if you know why I pick the name Jelena Jensen all the time, you'll know why I pick the, the, the Castle Tatas. But either way, you're protected from six days. So you can't actually be attacked very early on. We can actually look at our defenses again there, but let's close that out. Let's continue through. Time for a boost. So upgrade our woodcutter to level two. So that's gonna take 20 seconds. Now you're seeing these go 20 seconds, but very, very quickly, it's going to take a lot longer time for us to be able to update and build things, but that's okay. Right now, they're just trying to give us the basic understanding. One thing that is cool is you'll see these little treasure chests pop up around your, your city every so often, and you'll be able to grab those and you'll get little boosts to your resources and stuff like that. So now we need to, uh, what does it want us to do? Build storage, all right? So we're gonna go here, grab some storage. We're actually gonna put it down here and uh, we're actually gonna buy that extension as well. So we kind of put that out in the middle of no man's land, but that's fine. We've got plenty of room to build all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> and then we can store your decorative items here. You also get some de uh, some decorative items as far as uh, you know barrels and they give you different bonuses keeps your people happy, especially when you're taxing the crap out of them. Let's see, what else? Can we finally start to build some more military? Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see if we can, we can build at least a couple more of these guys. There we go. Oh, we completed that. Let's complete this. So let's close that out. Let's get a new message. All right, so we're gonna head out and we're going to build an encampment first. Before we head out, we've actually gotta build this encampment because the encampment will allow us to uh, <clears throat> to have a uh what exactly does the encampment do again <laughs> it allows us to have like a hero or a leader of our our group of uh of misfits i guess you could say or a leader of our group of uh macemen, so to say when we head off and go and attack the uh the robber barons that are holding the maiden we can also take and you can do these these are defensive you can also research and not research but build a siege factory or siege workshop and that will allow us to build ladders battery rams and all that stuff and there it is the siege workshop so we're going to go ahead and build that now we'll build that down here kind of down and out of the way and in 30 seconds we should be able to take and send our guys off into battle to be able to take down our very first robber baron and you can see there's our reward. So we get 38 XP and we get gold and also some wood. You can see right here, we need 123 experience to reach the next level, be able to expand out. We can also do expansion if we want to with rubies. Right now we have 240 rubies. We'll get some more and you do get some very early on in the game that allows you to do some things if you really want to. So now we can shatter our enemies. We've got a new assignment, Rar Baron Castle defeated. So let's head out. Let's head out to the world map. Where are we? Castle Tatas is right there. That is not, we are kind of in the middle of a bunch of uh, a bunch of higher level guys. So this guy has this and this is his. We've got a Robert Baron Castle here and here. So let's see which one they send us at. Of course, the one really far away. But the nice thing is, is it's because we're in the tutorial, it's not gonna take us too long. We're gonna dump everybody right there. Let's dump them all in there. Because I know that they're only, they only have one guy protecting this, this keep. So we're gonna go ahead and, and send off our attack. We don't have any horses, so we can't speed it up. So off we go. And right now, this is actually gonna take, we can look right here, all of 30 seconds, which is pretty funny because on the way back, it's gonna take them like 10 minutes. But let's head back into our castle while that 30 seconds is going on. Can we build some more guys here? Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, let's build one more there. And we can come down here to our siege workshop, build some siege weapons. 
We'll build one of those. Let's build one battery ram. And then you can obviously rent these production slots, slots and open these up, be able to build more things at a time. You're also gonna be able to build a lot more stuff here. You can see all kinds of different stuff going on there. And then defensively, where's the defensive stuff? Hmm. Smash into crate, disgrace our opponents. We got level five. The battle is over, look at the combat report. It looks like we are we are locked in. <laughs> Little glitch there. So basically, if I, because I was looking at, uh, at all this different stuff in, in here, I am not able to, well, maybe I can now. Let's see what I can do here. Nope. So we've got a little glitch and I don't know how to actually get out of it. So I'm gonna pause and I will be right back. So there we go, we're through our little glitch. We got this little pop-up, hold a feast or coming soon so you can do different stuff and really kind of make your people happy. But we needed to go down here, look at this message. And in, the, and in these victory reports, we can see we've got all kinds of stuff, what we earned, some XP, and all the different loot we got. We can also recruit a, a Marauder to acquire more loot and glory points. We're not going to do that. We can also look at the fight log. You can see right here we had five guys in full frontal assault take down their one guy. And that is about it. You can also see inside the inbox, you can send messages, um, player messages, you got system messages, you got espionage, you also have ignored players, and then you got compose. So let's close that. You've got a bunch of other stuff here that's now available, the alliance. So we can go out and try and search for an alliance. We're not gonna do that right now. Here's one of those treasure chests I was telling you about. So let's retrieve that, get the, get the goodies there. You can also get sword brothers. You can get this in a couple different ways. You've got our, our agents and our commanders. Right now we have three. We can also get our sword brothers by actually inviting other players to come play the game or actually go out, find other players that we have things in common with in the world, and then go ahead and recruit those guys to be sword brothers with us. So here we go. We've got some new messages. Build a, build a, a second dwelling. So where's our dwelling? It's one of these. There we go. We're going to build a second dwelling, and we'll actually build it right next to the first one. So that's not going to take too long to build. What else we got here? Now we're not. Can we recruit some more guys? We can. We can recruit some more spearmen as well as some more macemen. We're not going to do that right now. Let's see how long these guys are going to take to get back. All right. Quest complete. Go here. Take a look. So these guys have. They they've already been traveling. And they still have 10 minutes to get back. So we're never going to see those those guys make it back. But we do have 21 minutes. But you can see you can actually end it early and I get two of the six taxes. So kind of cool you can take and, and, and end that a little bit early. Get the early taxes if you really, really need them. But right now, you know, I really don't need them. So let's head back here. Our dwelling is done. So we got a new assignment, own decorative items. So let's go ahead and let's do a decorative item. Let's do this barrel here. What can we do the barrel that, uh, that kind of fits? Will it fit down here? Man... Let's actually take and let's buy this extension. And now I feel much more confident in just dropping in this barrel somewhere. There we go, there's somewhere that'll fit. And that's gonna take five minutes. All right, well, that's okay. We're not gonna sit there and watch all that. But these decorative items you can see right there increases public order and production of resources. All of these do that. So basically these keep your people happy while you're taxing the crap out of them and taking all their gold. Oh, we did have another treasure chest pop up, so we'll take that very happily. You also have this hunting lodge out here, which you can go out here and you can recruit either for gold or you can hire the merchant for rubies. But you do have some gold options to be able to hunt him. He's able to gather food for your troops. What else do we have that are gold options? Nothing actually right there. But we do have this hold a feast that has a bread option, which right now we have 101, so we're not even close to the 4,000. And we've got the ability to change our coat of arms. We've got, we can actually add a protection mode for this 5,000 rubies. And then you do var variable duration. <clears throat> what else do we have here? A recruitment slot, three of five, allows you to train more troops consecutively. And that, but you can see that's got a duration as well. Let's see what happens if we click this duration. Or can we go to the side? Nope. So we've got also construction slots that we can rent as well. Then you've got the, uh, the King's Banner. What else do we have here? production slots and open the gates, all that basic stuff. They have pretty simple stuff as far as, looks like it's a lot of convenience-based stuff as far as the uh, the cash up is concerned, which is something that I really like. You know, I don't like it when they have a lot of uh, uh, overpowered pay to win stuff. And we can also zoom in on our map, go and take a look at what these people are doing. So she's actually taking and dropping off some gold 
to our actual castle and they're heading out to collect some more but i really do like the art style it reminds me of uh, of a lot of uh, kind of retro style arcade games you see this guy's cruising he's actually speeding up where's he going this guy's hammering away on these rocks which is kind of cool to see what else can i show you guys we looked at the rankings and all the stuff down here you're also going to have some economy things that will open up and you can look at the overview see exactly how you're doing production wise and exactly what you have of different things so you can make sure to produce and also take care of certain aspects what else do we have here we've got our management which allow you castle tata so you'll see other change coat of arms but you can also have your multiple castles here possible protection during uh, additional protection and stuff like that will all display there as well then you've got the king's market which is all the ruby stuff and travel overview which will allow you to see what your guys are doing so they've got about seven minutes left what your own troops are doing what incoming attacks are coming your agents because there is espionage that kicks in really quick so you're going to be able to start using espionage and looking at the other towns and, and stuff like that see what they've got maybe be able to take a look oh their defenses are here to better go ahead and hit certain areas or make sure you're hitting the flank and things like that then you got your alliance troops and then your resource transport so what else do we have here we can do it looks like we're done with almost done with production we've got about a minute and a half to go but that's not going to get me much further other than the fact that you know this is very similar to a lot of other strategy games that are out there you build up your army join an alliance start to take over other cities build up that city and build up your your massive uh, populace and uh, basically try to take over the world with your alliance so if this is the type of game that you enjoy and you like the art style you like the music don't have a lot of sound effects but that's pretty expected either way this may be the type of game for you so I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released and also don't forget to comment and like these videos as we really do appreciate that if you'd like to play or learn more about Good Game Empire, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.